Okay. <laughs> Women like a guy who is cool, confident. They want ice man. No, 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 no. Women want attention. They like a nice smile. They want friendly guy. We both have a lot to learn. They like to be touched. <laughs> what they want is Mr. Fingers. Can I get you guys anything else? Nope. I think that'll be all for this evening. Thank you very much. Just a check. Thank you. <laughs> and so it begins. Well, it looks like the Legion of Dorks has failed yet again. A tree may have many branches, but only a handful of roots. No river may shun what the stream offers. Call me, 555 <laughs> Alex, you're sweeping. We don't sweep. <laughs> eh, it's a new day, my friend. Last night I broke up with Melissa. This morning I shaved my sideburns. Now I'm sweeping. Well, you finally did it. Yeah, she's driving me crazy. No, your sideburns. You're starting to look like John Quincy Adams. <laughs> you know, Todd, I have to admit I was torn. Now, she was hot, smart, and funny, but she was also a little clingy. No, saran wrap is clingy. She's scary. <laughs> That's true, but this time I nipped it in the bud. There was no bitterness, nobody cried, nobody said, Alex, I'll get you when you least expect it. Uh, you've done well, young Skywalker. It is time for you to leave the Dagobah system. You know, Todd, not everything's about Star Wars. Hey, I don't make fun of your religion. <laughs> Morning, Wiseman. Don't talk to me, I'm in the zone. Don't you want to know why I'm in the zone? <laughs> Alex? Okay, why are you in the zone? Today is a landmark day in my young dental hygienist career. My boss, the esteemed Dr. Middleman, has asked me, Wiseman, to clean his teeth. Um, ew? <laughs> ew? It's not ew, it's the opposite of ew, it's wow. <laughs> wow is the opposite of wow. This is an honor every hygienist waits for. Vernon's been there like six months longer than I have, and he hasn't been asked. I thought you said he had a claw for a hand. It's actually more of a pincer. <laughs> the point is, it's an honor. Well, it's a big day for both you kids. Alex broke up with Melissa last night. Mm. Melissa? Is she the bartender? No, 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 no. Melissa's the real estate agent, the hot one. The clingy one. <laughs> the scary one. Oh. There she is. <laughs> Sorry, right. last night I made a clean break. That doesn't sound like you. Well, it's the new me, okay? You know, I've realized the longer you stay in, the harder it is to get out. So I was clear, direct. Melissa got the message. Hey, everybody, it's Melissa. Hey. Hey. Good luck with the scary thing. Mm, I was just at the market, and I saw sugar, and I thought it was sweet, and it reminded me of you. Pick up any saran wrap? So what's up? Well, I was thinking maybe we could get dinner tonight. Wow, that would be like our fourth dinner in three nights. <laughs> After last night, I realized that if I could, I would have dinner with you every night. But not in a crazy way. <laughs> no, in a loving way. <laughs> uh, Melissa, do you remember like last night we had a, a little talk? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wrote all about it in my gratitude journal. <laughs> I really love that stuff you said about interlocking gears. Sometimes they grind and sometimes they mess. <laughs> it was so deep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Apparently it was too deep. <laughs> well, I got to get to work. Or I could quit and we could spend the day together. Ah. No, no. Okay. I'm, I'm kidding, oh. silly. <laughs> I'll see you later. Boy, it's a shame you kids broke up. You'll look really happy together. <laughs> uh, 
can't believe it's this hard to break up with Melissa. I haven't even slept with her. You're dead to me. <laughs> hey, isn't that Casey, the girl I hired to do some temp work last week? No. Yeah, she was really cool, man. We should say something. Actually, you know what? She probably doesn't even remember us. You're Casey. Hey, Todd. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Alex. I'm the one who hired you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alex. Mm. How's the music website doing? Well, I'm reconfigured. It's dead. <laughs> if you bring it up, uh, your computer will crash and all the lights in your house will go out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Things happen. Here, grab a seat. I'm actually uh, working for Music Week for the rock critic. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, actually, I'm for the assistant to the rock critic. So how's business school? It's great, except I have no place to live and I'm just about out of money. <laughs> Must not be a very good business student. My sublease ran out. That's why I'm in the neighborhood. I'm looking for an apartment. What about student housing? No, there's there's none left. I've been in a youth hostel for the last week. Ugh, and this French guy in the next bunk stares at me all night. Was there anything we can do to help? Do you know the French for stop staring at me, you chain-smoking freak? Arrêtez un reggaeton, moi vous freak qui fume tout le temps. So anyway. Uh, what are you going to do if you can't find something? Oh, you see, that's the thing. I, I won't allow myself to think that way. I can't allow myself to think that way. I will find an apartment. But if you don't... I will. But if you don't... She will. But if she doesn't... <laughs> she can always come and stay with us. Oh, thanks. But I couldn't do that. I mean, I barely know you guys. Didn't stop you from eating half the dumplings. <laughs> He's kidding. He's kidding. There's really not that much you need to know about us. No, uh, just a couple of normal guys who... Have no idea what we're doing with our lives. You'd fit in perfectly. Hey, what about your other roommate, that odd guy with the big hair? Wiseman? He's harmless. <laughs> this isn't as bad as it looks. A lot of it's spit. Steve, did you lose your keys again? Not entirely. They're somewhere on the West Side Highway. Did that happen in the building? No. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold on a second. Uh, Steve, that is a rare 1927 Schlage Excelsior with a tubular interlocking pin set. It's the king of locks. You think I need a bigger hammer? <laughs> This lock is featured in Milton Piss, History of Pre-War Locks on the Lower East Side. It's a great book, awful sales. I'll let you borrow it. Is it an audiobook? <laughs> no, 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 no. Steve, Steve, Steve. You're making the lock angry. All right, babe, look. I think I can pick it with a one-eighth inch tension wrench. It'll take some time, but lucky for you, I'm on my free-floating Sabbath day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Melissa, I miss you too. Well, I don't think it's about who misses who more. Okay, so I'll see you tonight at eight. You're right, six would be sooner. Okay, bye-bye. I can't help it, I'm nice. It's a curse, I hate me for it. We all hate you for it. Listen, tonight, you lower the boom. Use clear, precise language. Remember, phrases like, get out of my life, and it's over, baby, proven winners. What about take a hike or hit the bricks? Wiseman, stop helping, and for the love of God, change your shirt. So, uh, listen, Melissa, I, I've had about all I can take. Me too, I'm stuffed. <laughs> Would you like to buy the young lady a rose? Oh, no, no, thank Surely you. Surely a love so sweet deserves okay, a sweet Okay, yeah, sure, lovely. great, great, okay, great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Get out of my life, baby. First, you get out of mine. <laughs> Come on, you big goofball. Let's go fall in love all over again. <laughs> again? We had a romantic dinner. I bought her a rose. We made out in a handsome cab. It was awful. <laughs> Oh, I hope that's not Melissa. I hope it's not Dr. Middleman. <laughs> All I want
wanted was a nice, clean, one-bedroom apartment. I mean, I didn't care about a view. I, I didn't care about a, a doorman. I didn't even care about location. Just, just a little place to live. I mean, is that so much to ask? It doesn't seem like it. was rhetorical. <laughs> By 2.30, I had given up on the one bedroom. By 4, clean wasn't important. At 5, I had a latte. By 6, I wanted to move into the cup. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I must seem like a crazy woman. Actually, that bar's been raised over the last couple days. If the offer still stands, can I spend the night? I'm, I'm just gonna give up on New York. Of course, you're more than welcome to stay here, you know that, but you can't give up after one rough day. I was bit by a pigeon. <laughs> We've all been bit. When we first came to New York, Alex got bit by a rat. Weissman got bit by a bus driver. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm a mess. Can I use your bathroom? Yeah, sure, it's the uh, green room with all the windows. <laughs> Man, she's really upset. She is, like, completely unraveling. And I want her more than ever. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Why don't you ask your girlfriend to find Casey an apartment? She's not my girlfriend. I'll bet Melissa has the list. What list? The secret list that real estate agents keep for their important clients. And lovers. Yes, okay, she has the list. But she's not my girlfriend, and she's definitely not my lover. If a breakup happens and no one is there to hear it, <laughs> did it really happen? <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. I'm not asking for any favors. I thought you were the nice one who helped everyone, beautiful, hideous, or otherwise. Yeah, well, I'm not that nice. Thanks, guys, for letting me crash here tonight. Don't worry, I'll be out in the morning. Where are you gonna go? Oh, I don't know. Maybe back to my parents' house in Michigan. Hey, you can't give up. Hey, I don't want to. I mean, if somebody could find a way for me to stay, I would do absolutely anything. I, anything. Hey, Alex's girlfriend's real estate agent. She'll help you find an apartment. <laughs> Alex, you are the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, I'm up there. <laughs> Melissa, how's the real estate biz? Fine. I didn't expect to see you here. Really? But what about last night with the rose and the making out and the handsome cat? I would have expected you to call me after a night like that. I mean, it was only the most romantic night of my life. I guess you were totally unfazed. What? I was phased. I mean, I was dangerously phased. Alex. I'm pretty tuned into signals like this. <laughs> and I just want to know, do you want to break up with me? Break up? What? I mean, it's like, it's like you, reality, you know? I mean, <laughs> Melissa, honey, why didn't I call? Why didn't I call? Why, why didn't I call? Why did, oh, okay, you know why I didn't call? I didn't call because the conversations I was having with you in my head seemed so real. I thought I had called. <laughs> you, Alex Barnes, mm. are one special person. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just folks. <laughs> You know, um, I was just wondering, I have a, a small favor to ask, if that'd be okay. You can have anything you want. Oh, <laughs> well, it's, it's a small favor, it's very small. Um, I, I've got a friend who needs an apartment, uh, and I... Say no more. Okay. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> hey. Oh. What are you doing next weekend? Well, I've got uh, a lot, some plans, a few engagements, so I'm gonna come... Oh, come to the Hamptons with me. Oh, I don't know, I thought we were looking at the book there. Oh, but let's talk about us first. Oh. Then we'll find your friend an apartment. Yeah, sure. Us. <laughs> this weekend, I want to finally show you how special you are to me. I don't know what to say. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much longer is this going to take? Because I need to get some things out of there. 
My associate is becoming impatient. Your associate? Okay, my brother. Just open the door. Now, yeah, what did you say was in here again? You know, stuff. What kind of stuff? Just knickknacks and stuff. I'm gonna kill Wiseman. I got stuff for that. I hope you're happy, Wiseman. I have to have sex in the Hamptons this weekend. Mm, you want me to take your place? No. Well, I was just about to break up with Melissa. Now I'm having deceitful sex with her? Uh, do not underestimate deceitful sex. It can often be the best sex. It can often be the only sex. <laughs> Don't you get it? By helping Casey, I'm taking advantage of Melissa. Now, with the sex, it's gonna add, like, what, eight weeks to my sentence, Todd? What are you guys talking about? Uh, we were discussing the electoral college. <laughs> what about it? Well, for starters, it's not even a real college. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I mean, the walls in this place are really thin. I heard everything. Everything? Yeah. Did you guys know that he has a name for his toothbrush? Hey, I think we can leave Mr. Scrubbington out of this. <laughs> Alex, I, I appreciate what you're doing, but I can't take that apartment. Yes, you can. I've already agreed to go to the Hamptons. Something good should come out of it. And hey, you know, I'll just go off and I'll... I'll marry my clingy wife and have a bunch of little clingy kids and move into the nicest house on Clingy Lane. Guys, I feel awful. Alex wanted to break up with Melissa, and now because of me, he's more involved with her than ever. You know what? If he can't dump Melissa, I owe it to Alex to do it for him. Casey, this isn't your responsibility. I got him to ask for the favor. I'll go break up with Melissa. You're both nuts. Breaking up with Melissa is meaningless unless Alex does it on his own. Let's have a little faith in him. He's a big boy. Melissa. Yes. Hi, I'm Casey Parker, Alex's friend. Casey, you're not going to believe the place I found for you. Oh, don't tell me. Don't show it to me. I have something really important I have to... Wow. <laughs> it has hardwood floors. It has 12-foot ceilings. And this is the part you're not going to believe. Skylights. Skylights. <laughs> Ten. Skylights. <laughs> oh, listen. Melissa, I, I can't believe I'm about to say this. Oh. I can't take the apartment. Are you allergic to light? <laughs> Let's just say, sometimes guys, they find themselves in, in difficult situations and they have a hard time getting out of them. And, um, which guys? Oh, gosh, Melissa, I, I really hate to do this. I, I have no choice. And even though it might appear like this whole thing is my fault, <laughs> in actuality, Alex was the one who deceived you. <laughs> He should have done this weeks ago. Get out. Now? Out. Look, uh, I know you're busy, you have a tight schedule, so I'm not gonna waste your time. You and Alex, it's over, baby. <laughs> Melissa, I've been going about this the wrong way, so I'm just gonna come out and say, wow! I'll call you. Never told me you're an entrepreneur, Steve. This is my brother's stuff. He works down at the docks. Sometimes they give him stuff to take home. You ever thought about renting the sound as an apartment? It doesn't have a kitchen. Plus, I make pretty good money renting it to my brother for storage. What if I told you that I could find someone to live here who would not only pay rent, but let you keep some of the stuff here? I'd say you were a liar. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's not perfect, but it could be. I could put my bed over here, and then I could... Okay, maybe that's all I have room for, but it doesn't matter because it's mine and I love it. I can't believe how much I've lowered my standards. Really? Thank you so much. It's gonna be so great being neighbors. And you're okay with the uh, stuff being here from time to time? Hey, it's New York. You make concessions. 
<laughs> Nobody put their finger in these holes. <laughs> Understood? Yes, I'm Sir Milton Pitt, the author of History of Pre-War Locks of the Lower East Side. Ah, uh, good, you got my call. Yes, I flew across the pond straight away. Can it be true, man? Do you actually have the 1927 Schlage Excelsior in your possession? I do. With the tubular interlocking pin set. <laughs> in near mint condition. Will you take bullion? As long as we're not talking about soup. <laughs> The sultry. I'm a quirky little thing. The stunning. People sometimes don't expect us to be wrestlers. The sexy. I guess, basically, I'm a living Barbie. I'm an athletic Barbie. The WWF Divas, taking their beauty out of the ring and onto the beach. Divas 2002, an all-new one-hour special, Wednesday after Enterprise.